Hi guys and welcome to your daily tower reading for Friday the 26th of April 2019. It's a pleasure to be with you today as always and I really mean that. I love doing these readings for you guys and it's an added bonus that you watch. So this is for Friday the 26th of April. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what energy you'll be working with. I'm just going to shuffle the cards a couple of times. And here the cards on the right are being shuffled. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. We have the star, the queen of wands, and the four of swords. Beautiful. The star is... Uh, star that's embodied as a woman and she's pouring wealth and abundance and prosperity onto planet earth we've got this triangle pointing upwards so the earth meeting this star intellectually and we've got aquarius here which often people mistake aquarius as a water sign because it's the water bearer, but it is an air sign. It has to do with thinking and ideas. So you on this water ball down here, planet Earth, some might see this as Neptune, but I think this is planet Earth, even though we don't see any of the land masses there. By being on planet Earth and reaching out to what's going up intellectually up in the sky, you will be blessed with ideas and a prosperity and abundance and jewels of thought. So really, really great ideas, really inspirational, wonderful perceptions and insights that are designed to help humanity. Aquarius is the sign of the humanitarian. I always uh, find it very easy to kind of put Aquarius in the nutshell of uh, a vicar or a pastor or a priest. It's someone who, beyond religion, is standing in front of a group of people and wants to help the flock and does that for everyone everyone's well-being not for his own well-being but or her own well-being but for the well-being of the people she's got a magnifying lens there so she's really able to see her own stardom in a way and she's aware of her feelings around that she's fiery she's something special and that's what she's giving us today something special an idea that's special, an insight that's special, an inspiration that's really special. The Queen of Wands is a woman who controls the elements of fire and she's living her life purpose to the fullest. We've got the sun there, which is the identity, fire, a huge fireball, the sign of Leo. The sun rules Leo in astrology and it couldn't be happier than when it is in Leo, because it's a fire sign, the sun and this lion, we've even got the way it looks in the sky here, drawn out, mapped out there. The sun in Leo is when it's able to express its energy without being constrained. It's fun, it's extroverted, it loves being silly, it likes children, going to theme parks, singing, messing around, just having a good time, just enjoying life. And she has a wand. And what's interesting about this one, it's got lots of little offshoots. And I always say that we all have this straight road in our lives, which at the end of the road is success. But there are lots of laybys on this road to success. So one of the laybys could be a bad marriage where you're being controlled and you can't be yourself. Another layby, maybe getting into a job 
that you do for the money, but that you despise. And you stay there anyway because of the good benefits, the healthcare, the dental plan. And it's really hard sometimes to reverse and to get back on track. But the Queen of Wands can do that. She's at the top here. We've got another triangle pointing up. Earth meeting spirit, but this time fire reaching up. When you take fire and air, both of them are masculine elements. When you heat up air, it moves even quicker. So the ideas are flowing and racing around. And when you add air to a fire, it just grows and builds. Finally, we've got Pisces Australis. And we've got this mermaid here. I would assume this is Neptune or Uranus. I'm not sure. I've not seen this symbol before. There are different symbols for each planet in the astrology. Water is ruled by Neptune and Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. So it could be either of those. The Four of Swords is about resting and preparing for action. And because we have all this water here, it's about getting in touch with your feelings, accepting the gifts that the universe is giving you, reminding you that you are something special. That, that keeps coming up in my mind, that sentence. You're something special. You're like Christmas. You're Easter. You're a special celebration. That's what kind of keeps entering my consciousness as I'm doing this reading. So it's feeling that, embracing it, saying I am something special and it feels natural. And I'm going to use that specialness, my unique, amazing self, again, Aquarius, Aquarius, to be of service to other people. And these four swords, they are not dangling above me, causing me anxiety or fear. These four swords have been carefully placed downwards. Swords are the element of air again. So we've got a lot of air here today. Masculine element. You think, you express yourself, you communicate, you decide, you judge. And you're deciding to use and see yourself as something special to rather than just take a bubble bath in your own glory and to enjoy the entire day saying to yourself, God, I'm amazing. I am so fabulous. <laughs> Instead of doing that, you help other people. It gives you the confidence to help other people. And the Queen of Wands is at the center of this reading. So it's by having this confidence that you're really able to either reverse out of one of these laybys that have kept you stuck in life and to get you back on to your right path. And it's fixed fire. So this is your destined life purpose. This is your destined path in life. It's where you're most talented. It's where you can exercise most control. It's where you're naturally gifted. I watched um, documentaries recently on two very talented men who both had tragic ends because they used their gifts, but then they became overwhelmed by the expectation of other people. So they created a hit or something beautiful and wonderful. And then they were expected to keep creating that wonderful, amazing stuff. And they were burnt out and tired and they couldn't do it anymore. And it's one thing getting on your path, but it's another sustaining that and continuing to move it forward. And the Queen of Wands is clever. She controls her life purpose and she controls how and when and how often and where and why she does it so that it's on her own terms. It's never taken away from her. She doesn't lose control of it because she's been through all of that. She's been the page of ones 
where she where fire has completely burned her. She's been the knight of wands where her anger has hooked her in and she's been carried off. She's graduated to become the queen of wands, so her fire is sustainable. And she's living her life purpose. She's overcome the problems that prevent her from living it. And she uses her energy in a consistent, moderate way, which means that she can continue to live her life purpose and not burn herself out. I mean, the Queen of Wands can't burn out because she is fire. She's a lion. That's her nature. So a flame can't not be a flame. It's not in its nature to be nothing. It's something. So we've got this beautiful fire here at the center. Then we have lots of Aquarius energy, the great insights, the wonderful appreciation of self and the desire to be of service to other people and to take that joy that you're experiencing for yourself and to share it with other people. So how lovely is that? We've got 17 for the star, one for the court card, so that's 18, and four is 22. And 22 is the master number of the builder. Again, I think we had this recently. 22 is really building something in your life that is there for a long time, and that's fundamentally significant in determining who you are, what you do, what impact you have on the world, and what your legacy is, what you leave behind, and how you'll be remembered. It's about really focusing in and getting to the peak, the pinnacle of what you do best and doing it. So this is, this is master's degree level, this is PhD level that you're operating on today. It doesn't get much better than this in terms of thinking and helping other people through your insights. So have a lovely day. If you really struggle with your life purpose and you can't seem to get yourself out of one of these laybys, or you just don't know what you're gifted, where your gifts are, because a lot of people have a lot of balance between the elements and a lot of people suffer with being good at everything. And if you're good at everything, it's very hard to narrow it down and to say, okay, I'm going to commit to being a psychiatrist, for instance. So if you're interested in finding out what your life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, so what your soul mission is, what's destined for you in love and career and finance and travel and spiritual progress and what's coming up in the next six months and a year. I use the, the tarot, astrology and numerology in my personal readings. The personal readings allow me to do a solar return chart for your birthday and I can see what's coming up from your birthday this year until your birthday next year. If it's not your birthday, I can do a progress chart and look at the transits and see how the planets are going to affect you over the next couple of months and years and how you've changed as a person. So that's the predictive part of the astrology that allows me to look ahead. But your natal chart in itself, I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, order a chart rectification with me. I get 10 life events and I work out your time of birth. Once I have that, I'm then able to draw up your natal chart and that tells me everything about you. I use the tarot as well to give me extra insights while I do my readings and the numbers I take notice of because a uh, sun at 23 degrees means freedom to me and the sun at 20 uh, 25 degrees means that you're fired up when you use your mind and you're creative. So if you are interested in any of that, then please visit the website gregoryscott.com and order your reading there. Have a lovely day 
and I'll speak to you tomorrow.